Welcome everyone to Designer Speak, the show where designers speak about all things design. My name is Christopher Scott. I'm Alvis Lopez. So here in this episode, uh, we're going to talk about a very, uh, maybe controversial, it should maybe it would be to say, or important also, mm -hmm. and that is a plagiarism in, in graphic design. Yeah, this topic uh, was suggested by a member of our community, uh, Mario Mogollon, here from Ecuador. And uh, this was made by a question we made on Facebook and social media, social media. Uh, to suggest us topics. So uh, now in the comments below, you can suggest us more topics, more uh, things to say, because uh, as Mario suggested, now we are doing the things that he uh, wants us to talk about. Exactly. And thank you, all, everyone, mm -hmm. who sent in all the comments because. Uh, we'll get through as yeah. much of them as we can. And uh, so we had some awesome ideas. Yeah. Some that we never even thought yeah, about. Yeah, everything that you give us, is there, there is a list where we write it down. Uh, let's do it this week. Let's do it next week. So it's in our schedule, definitely. Exactly. So thanks very much. And keep on uh, commenting what topics you want us to talk about because that's very important for us to, to investigate new things and to find out new things. Um, so thanks for that, everyone, uh, and thanks, Mario, for your awesome topic. Thanks. So um, there was one part of this um, plagiarism for Mario that was very important was the logo for the new metro uh, that mm -hmm. we have here in Quito. Yep. I think the metro's coming, the launch of the, the they have launched the logo yeah, yeah, yeah. and all like the branding and the signage and all that stuff. I think it's coming the end, it's next year, right? Next year or, think, or late this year, but late this year or the early next year, yeah. the, the metro will officially be coming to Quito. So, so give it a bit of context here in Ecuador. Uh, we have like a, um, a metro <laughs> that's like above the city where like buses have like it's just a bus. It's, it's, it's a bus that is called that metro. has cables at the top. Yeah, yeah. And it's named metro, but it's not a metro at all. Yeah, yeah. And um, so. Um, now this new metro that they're making is like uh, an underground tunnel a that subway. will a subway yeah. Yeah, that will connect to a, a various a, Area. very areas or important parts of Kit. And um, so, um, so they designed the logo. Who was the logo designed for? I think it, who was the logo? I can't remember the company, the agency who designed the logo. Do you remember? No. There was an agency, I can't remember the name of the agency. It was a long time ago. Still. Yeah, it was like three years ago or something. But it was like a big agency here in Ecuador uh, that designed the logo. And someone, uh, I think it was from, from Spain, I think it was, um, they commented and said that I have this logo for my agency. It's already been done. Mm -hmm. And everyone went crazy. They started tweeting at the municipal de Quito, who's like the people who are like in charge of the whole metro, and everyone was going to yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I never mentioned, I never published anything of it on my social media, and there was a reason for that because I like to like see everyone panic and go crazy. <laughs> and it was very interesting how people reacted to it. Yeah, to be honest. and actually, it was a contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's were, right. Yeah, that was that's uh, a good that's point, what actually. Uh, there were three logos, and the citizens had to vote for one. That's true. Uh, obviously, the controversy sparked at first the logo was chosen, uh, because no one before pointed out, like, oh, this is the logo that is copied, so let's not <laughs> vote for that logo. Uh, but at first it was elected, uh, the controversy started. Um, but I don't know, to be honest, like, why they keep the logo. <laughs> it's right this is the thing right um, in terms of logo design like it's very very um, rare that something is a uh, different for example yeah especially because when you're using such basic shapes and such basic um, forms and typography and colors and stuff like that it's like nearly impossible that you, someone else in another part of the world has made a, a similar yeah. type of yeah, logo. Because we are now in 2019, nothing is new. Nothing is new. Nothing is going to be new in 2020, nothing is going to be new in 2030, 
21. Exactly. Yeah. And the thing is that whenever I look at it, do I think that the agency actually looked at this person's work and actually goes, ah, oh, we're going to make something like that? No. I don't think they did that. But what I do think is happened is it's just coincidence that a, what they designed is nearly exactly the same and yeah. I'm going to put up an image now of the, of the two logos side by side and they're like absolutely identical. But the thing is that that can just be coincidence. Yeah, because, it happens all the time. Because the, exactly. And it's just like a simple circle, which is, again, a general mm -hmm. thing that we use okay. see in logo design. It's just a circle. It's a circle. And they put an M at the so bottom. That's rounded. And exactly. It's like, it's just a general, a generic logo. And is the logo a good logo? Fine. Is yeah. It, is it good? Is it a decent logo? Actually, so... The application of logo is very good. Actually, it's also proposals because every time there is a, a controversy like this, people start doing proposals. What's my idea for a logo kit? And they were pretty amazing. Like they represented the city well, and they had some elements that they were not obvious. But when you analyze it, like you can see, they incorporate the Q of Quito, the L of Ecuador somewhere. But it was uh, really, really good, and they did applications. And the other logos that were in the contest were uh, not that bad, to be honest. No, they weren't that bad, but I remember I, whenever I seen the, the three best um, logos, I definitely thought that the logo that they selected was the, um, was the right one or the best one. Um, so, like, it's, it's very hard to explain, like, plagiarism because, especially in terms of logo design, it's because it, it's very hard... Because there's so many logos in the world, so many generic yeah. things that look just like any everything else. Everything. How many logos in the world have circles? How many logos are based on the letter M? Yeah. Millions, <laughs> millions, Louise. So I'm not I'm sure that that logo that they copied, mm -hmm. I'm putting up my hand and if anyone's listening to audio that's saying that they copied, I don't think they did. And um, I'm sure there's another thousands of logos that use the M and use the circle in the same way. It's not, they're not the only two logos that no, look no, like no, that. No, no, no. It, that's like impossible. Could the agency have done like a bit of investigation into to see if this logo was used in other parts of the world? Yes. Yeah. But, um, and that we'll get into the last part of like mm -hmm. giving advice to you guys about that. But, um, so I don't personally think that they copied. Do you think that they copied? Uh, it's very hard to say. Like yeah, we don't we don't know for sure. Right? Yeah, we don't know. But uh, maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe they because they are not gonna copy it on purpose. I don't think that's so. not gonna they, happen. They will be very stupid. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Like or oh, when you hire an agency, an amateur, and, and this is a big agency. And um, not, not even amateur, because, uh, because graphic design students, we don't do that. Like, that's the first thing. Like, we can get expelled on university just for doing that. Exactly. But uh, for me, it can be a coincidence, to be honest. But they should have made, like, another option or a backup in case or more research. Yeah, it made a lot of problems for the ministry with Quito. I remember that and the government of Quito. But the thing is that... When they paid everything, I remember the guy making the tweet too, saying, oh, give me the money instead of the agency. And it was crazy. Like, but I, I still don't, I, I'm not convinced because it's just too generic. Is the logo good? Like, fine, it's a good logo. Yeah, and the thing is, the uh, application is really good though. Yeah, and we can't say like, oh, they copied a famous logo and it's really famous. So why didn't they know about the logo? It was just a logo that... The, it's not like the logo of Apple, for example, that is mm -hmm. iconic and you, everyone knows about it. No, it's a logo that uh, I didn't even know about before. Yeah, right. I don't even know how the person, I think it's a company and a, a yeah. guy in Spain. If I remember and I have that. seen some very similar logos before with, with a round shape and a game. Like. Exactly. Um, and there was like, I remember uh, whenever we were investigating this topic, I remember like, there was a big thing about this this big logo, logo, logo yeah. and now whenever I seen the logo, I think I love the re the rebranding by the mm -hmm. way. But then there was an image that was very similar. Yeah, actually, but again, it's just a D though. Yeah, but the thing is, 
Uh, you know, Shutterstock, all those stock places. You search for the D, and it appears. Yeah, I know. I love that goes ah, maybe yeah. it could be. But again, like like whenever you have a big client like this, but mm -hmm. an agency that are gonna have to do that logo, do you think they're gonna go on Shutterstock? And yeah, check that's the D? thing. But, no, because but because you know the way the internet is now. It's like it's like. Internet now, everyone, like you're going to publish that, and then everyone's going to go, and especially when it's a big company yeah. and a big thing, everyone's going to go and try and find copies, and so they, the agencies know that. No, but the thing is that there were some similar, even in Corp, uh, and there were a lot, not like just one, on, that, that's just one floating on Shutterstock or on Google. There were like 3,000 Ds like that. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like, like all the logos that we're going to be making is like anything you're making is like definitely uh, copied in some way or forms another. Yeah, for me, nothing. No one does that on purpose. No, I don't think so. No Especially one. when you have a big client. Except like that. you are the kind of designer that I'm gonna offer you a logo for five dollars. Uh, yeah, that's not a designer. Exactly. That's not a designer. No, but. it's not at all. And there's like another case of the Tokyo, but even I don't even think that was a copy either. The thing is that yeah. their, their logo design is one thing, like, and poster design there is that's another yeah, thing. There is now, a lot. Now that's more obvious. Like you, mm -hmm. you actually can say when someone has copied um, yeah, because, their work and stuff. Yeah, like because that. you can see you can see there is coincidence, composition. Obviously. Yeah, a bit of coincidence in some way. But composition, concept, typography, concept. Color, all those aspects come together, and you actually see whenever someone actually just ripped off yeah. the actual the whole elements, and um, so that's a bit more obvious, I think. In logo design, it's a bit more um, because it's just a such simple thing to do, uh, simple elements. But then, if you're going to other side, other aspects of the poster and stuff like that, that's I think when it's more obvious when someone copies. Yeah. Um, but logo design specifically, and especially in Aikido, I, I don't think they did um, copy, but... Yeah, and especially with typography, like, the, how many typographies look similar in this world? How many logos how do many, with uh, yeah. Helvetica? How so. many sans serif, serif fonts are that? Yeah. There are millions of Helvetica clones out there. Exactly. Not clones, but variations that... Yes. And they are original in their own way. Yeah, exactly. So and um, let's finish, Louise, and, and let's give some uh, tips to the designers uh, out there who's listening. Um, what can you do to like e try and pre prevent this from happening to you? Because you don't want to make a logo for a mm -hmm. client and make promise. Like so, yeah. what I would recommend first would be like to research um, all the logo and all the stuff. What's gonna you're gonna present to the client? Make sure you research in the internet. Yeah. What other logos is out there? Things like that. Yeah, and even check books. Like there is a lot of books on brand design, yeah. famous brands, exactly, uh, and some even obscure ones that you don't know about. Uh, just search through books, uh, search through PDF online, like Google on, images. Google images. That's a good thing actually because you can uh, upload your JPEG mm -hmm. into into Google Images, and then you can see yeah. instantly is there any other images yeah, similar to what you. It takes five minutes, not even five minutes. No, five yeah. seconds. <laughs> Just do a backwards Google image research and put your logo there. And that's something I do because you and never know. It's not perfect. Like, is, is it definitely going to be proof that it's definitely, mm -hmm. your logo is definitely not complete? Probably no, but it's something. Yeah, it's something. and it's, uh, and it's going to throw some results, see what's similar. If, if there is nothing similar, it's okay. Exactly. And if it's like a... Uh, something like a D or an M, a letter, you search on Google D logo mm -hmm. and it appears a thousand images. So you see what's the uh, logos that have been done before so you don't make mistakes. Exactly. And also, just to uh, quickly wrap this up, uh, there's not, like, other options like you can look for databases online in your own country, like here in Ecuador, mm -hmm. we have the Yepi. And there's like a, um, a trademark a databases and associations in, in all these various countries yeah. around the world. You can check that if you're having a big, huge client. Yeah, other, another site that is good is brandsoftheworld.com. Brands of the world also. Uh, there is campaigns there, there is logos there, so you can search if something is similar. Even when you do a poster or uh, an advertising thing, you can search on 
um, brands of the world that come. Yeah, because if you literally basically copy something and you publish it, it could end your career, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, no one is going to hire you. After no, that. it could be a huge problem. And I'll you know, just try and make something different. Try not to uh, just go online and copy what everyone mm-hmm. else has done. Just make something different. Something new doesn't exist, but no. make something different that you can tweak and, uh, and change the dynamics of the logo or the poster or whatever you're doing. Um, because it's your career, guys, so you need to be very careful about that type of um, plagiarism yeah. and, and copying work because it's a very sensitive uh, uh, problem here in, yeah. in the world of graphic design. And remember that creativity and innovation is just about connecting the dots. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can, because, like, you can take a concept, but connecting it to another concept, and you make something different. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily new, but something different. Something different, exactly. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Um, thank you very much, Mario, uh, for sharing with us your uh, this very, very important topic, um, especially in the area of graphic design. And um, remember, Put, a, put below your comics what you or your topics what you comics yeah. I said right yeah. <laughs> your comics yeah give us comics comics yeah, send <laughs> us comics I like comics uh, so yeah send us your topics what you want us to talk about because uh, we really want to build a community here in graphic uh, here in um, graphic design in, in graphic design I'm just trying <laughs> and we should just end this video right? yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and designers speak and we want you to be part of this yeah uh, so let, yeah, comment below what topics do you want us to talk about next, um, what topic are you interested in, and not even design, because remember that we do games, we do random, random stuff, too. so you, uh, we can talk about everything, uh, we are going to take in account your topics. Yep, I'm already getting started with all these programs, so we're really excited, and we're going to try to make the best content that we can for you guys, so um, thanks very much for joining this thanks. episode of Designer Speak, um, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.